Paradiso is a prison for dreamers, where the denizens are constantly tormented by nightmares made manifest. What order exists in Paradiso is provided by the Sanctum, a totalitarian cult that holds back the darkness through force and fear. Into this world walks Christian, a young man dressed in the golden robes of the Sanctum, but now an enemy of the cult. He was born to be a chosen one, but he has instead tasked himself with defeating the leaders of the Sanctum in a desperate play to pull Paradiso out of the corruption. Death of a Wish is a top-down action game with mechanics built around melee combat. Christian possesses light and heavy attacks, a dodge roll, parry, and a selection of special attacks. Successful parries and attacks eventually break an opponent's guard, stunning them and leaving them open to powerful charge attacks. Christian is quite fragile and healing is scarce, so mastering this combat loop is absolutely essential. He can spring back easily from a loss, but falling increases his corruption, and there are story consequences to letting that get too high. There's a lot of customization in the combat. The player can switch between two arias, or combat spells. Each aria has a primary and secondary element, familiar, and a set of supporting abilities. It's definitely worth experimenting with the arias to find a set of suitable attacks. In a game with such unforgiving combat, having a weapon that suits you counts for a lot. The scratchy, high-contrast graphical style is definitely the standout aspect of Death of a Wish. Now, on the one hand, it suits the game's dark and dreamy story perfectly. On the other hand, it's not always the easiest thing to look at. I personally got used to the visuals pretty quickly, but if you're not so sure, a spin through the demo might be a good idea.